Oklahoma State, <clears throat> very well coached basketball team. I, you know, Travis Ford and, and Oklahoma State. Uh, that was, as Coach Fran Fraschella said, that was like a street fight, an, an old-fashioned street fight. And I kept telling her, I actually told our guys at halftime that we have <clears throat> five rounds left in this heavyweight fight, and we have to win every round because we're behind on the judges' scorecard. And we've got to win every round. And, um, and that means five four-minute segments left in the second half. And we were able to win every, every four-minute segment in the second half. And this, the, the credit goes to two things. One, uh, obviously my staff did a heck of a job. The fans here gave us a great lift. But secondly and most importantly, obviously this is a player's game. You know, the guys to my right and everyone else down there in the locker room um, got us the win. The players make the plays. Did a tremendous job. I thought our bench was awesome. And, I, you know, look, I know it's not easy for guys like Karan Iverson and Nick King and Dominique Woodson and Damian Wilson. And, you know, David Pellin wants to even play more of his, you know, and they're here, they're not playing a lot, but they were very positive on the bench and, and encouraging and, and really giving us some great lift. Um, Trey Draper, Anthony Cole, Jake McDowell. Um, I mean, those guys were just tremendous. And um, so I'm very, very proud of the bench. You said on Friday that you don't believe in revenge. This had to feel pretty good, though. You know, um, I'm, I'm not a revenge guy. I, I don't. I don't. I'm not like an ill will guy. I'm, I'm a. I believe in. I, I think when you hold things in ill will, you just it, things come out sideways. And I talk to our guys about that. So I'm not into revenge. What I'm into is I felt after a week and a half ago we got our butts kicked. We need to have course correction, and we corrected some of the course. And we're not a finished product. We got to clean things up. Um, and you look at our schedule with our conference. I mean, we still have, you know, we, we, we don't have time to, to relax. But uh, um, what we did is, is we understood from that game that it was, and, and that it was actually a great thing that we scheduled that game, and and to be able to play that game, so we could be able to, um, you know, could be able to see what was wrong. If we had played a game at that time and won by 40, we would not have probably, maybe we would have lost to LSU because we would not have been able to see what needed to be seen. And I only say that because in the past couple of years, I mean, you know, last year Bahamas or the year before that Maui, we went in there, I thought both times, you know, more more cocky and arrogant, not locked in. And because the previous games before going to those tournaments, we had great wins and we won by a lot. So sometimes there's there's a negative or you get punched a little bit. And, and we had to find a way to find ourselves, and it was that's why so I was proud that we were able to do that. The other thing is I just want to say the guts and fortitude of our guys to be able to, to pull out that win was, was great, and that was, that's a great Oklahoma State team.